As a student, uh, I was really into studying the history of ideas and religion, and after a while I became a little frustrated. It seemed like we only studied the conceptual worlds and the imaginations of famous people and scholars and philosophers. So I was so intrigued when I realized there is one field, one disciplinary field, that studies the creation of significance and meaning in art as it's performed by every, everyday people, by everybody, and that's seismology. What differentiates ethnology from other sciences is that we are side by side with the people we work with. We're not over them, we don't close them in laboratories. We live with them, learn from them, speak to them, and laugh with them, and cry. Ethnologists do their work sometimes just by passing by. So they just look at things and they ask questions about the things because things, artifacts, have stories. Every artifact, a garbage can also, can tell a story. And I think those stories are, are interesting and they show how the society works. Stories are connected to humanity. We had stories uh, since the very beginning of time. Uh, for ethnologists are usually focused on oral stories, but now uh, digital stories uh, on Facebook and social networks are equally important. So it's important to uh, investigate any kind of stories which circulate in any community. I think an area where ethnology can, can contribute immensely is the study of political narratives. I mean, all these different narratives that are constructed um, by populists, uh, but also in, in very everyday settings, I mean, in, in kitchen talk, among colleagues, etc. How that happens, how, how the political is entangled with uh, narratology, I think that's a vast field that needs more attention by ethnologists. And especially you have topics at the moment that are really hot topics like migration and mobility, the, the topic that I'm working on, which is something that people are very concerned about. And it's our job to provide knowledge about it and to really provide analyses and engage politically. I come from a very politically tense uh, place uh, and since childhood you understand that. And I think that uh, in those kind of tensions, we don't need to reduce the complication. It's complicated for sure, but we need to add complications to the complications and add colors to the black and white ways of thinking. So I think that ethnographers can actually help in creating a diverse voices and bring them into the fore. Very often we are in a bubble which is closed in by our own preconceptions. And the wonderful thing with ethnology is that you are forced to do field work and say, how does the world look from another person's point of view? And that is a humbling experience. Ethnologists are the ones who build bridges and see where there already are bridges. 